Hello, everybody. Uh, in my 20 years, almost 20 years career of an endocrinologist, I have seen many, many patients with diabetes and I have seen their pain. And I want to share a certain information with you. Uh, diabetes is very common. Almost one in 11 uh, person in the globe is suffering from diabetes and 50% people don't even know that they have diabetes. And I sometimes call it a deceiving disease because 50% people don't have the symptoms of diabetes. They think that it is going all well, but inside the bodies, when we are moving around with high blood sugar in our system, uh, we tend to get into complications such as blindness, kidney failure, and amputation. But big, big studies that are scientific and well-proven studies have shown that there is big hope for people with diabetes because those studies have shown that if you take care, care of your diabetes properly, you can prevent the complications such as blindness and amputation. It is a myth that everybody with diabetes will get blindness and amputation. It is not true. It is in your hands. So I request my patients and everybody in general to give focus to your own health, to give your attention to yourself. All the time, a lot of us, especially women, are too busy taking care of other people that they forget to take care of themselves. So based on scientific recommendation, I recommend my patients to focus on themselves and see if they are giving themselves enough time or not. So for the diabetes, the most important thing is to keep a lot of things in check. You have to keep, keep your sugars in check. You keep your sugars around fasting around 90 milligram per deciliter and postprandial or after food around 120 milligram per uh, deciliter. That way you are reducing significantly your chances of getting into trouble with all the complications I explained. And uh, we should not only take care of the diabetes, we should take care of the other risk factors such as high blood pressure, um, cholesterol problem. If you smoke, the most important thing you can do for yourself is stop smoking. That is the most important thing you can do to prevent complications such as heart disease and stroke. And to prevent the kidney damage, it is very important to keep the sugars in check, to keep the blood pressure under control, and if needed, to keep continuing to take your kidney protecting medicine if your doctor is prescribing. So if I summarize in how to go about it, I recommend that you focus on yourself first, relax, be positive, with a relaxed mind, make a plan, how am I going to leave my coming years? How am I going to protect myself from devastating complications of diabetes? So if I set my mind on it, then be positive and do certain checklist. And those checklists are check your sugars from time to time. It is called self-monitoring of glucose. If you are taking insulin, you are recommended to take check your sugars at least a few times a day and at least several times a week. If you are just on medicine or diet, you can check it once a month. Every three months, there is a checking, there's a lab test called hemoglobin A1C. And we recommend you to every three to six months check uh, creatinine and urine albumin creatinine ratio. And we also recommend you to check the lipid profile. And according to the doctor's advice, you take your medicines regularly. And the most important medicine is. Uh, the lifestyle modification, by which we mean you do regular exercise. Regular exercise will uplift to your mood. You'll feel good. So you exercise with your close friend or family member. Be consistent with your exercise. Exercise can be a combination of running, jogging, swimming, whatever is good for you without hurting your joints if you are senior citizens. And weight training is also really good for diabetes. It will make the insulin work better and the diabetes is improved. So if you do exercise, if you eat healthy, according to recommendation, balanced diet, you can eat all natural products, but in good uh, amount. So recommended amount, you cannot overdo on the carbohydrate and you cannot overdo on the junk food. Junk food, we strongly recommend you to avoid. So in short, 
eating healthy, exercising, being positive, measuring your sugars from time to time, going to the doctor for regular checkup, and taking your pills. That can be both for diabetes as well as to prevent heart disease, stroke, and kidney damage. So if your doctor is recommending you to take those pills, those are really important to take. And if you have everything in check, you will have much less chances of having complications. All the devastating complications, as I said, blindness, kidney failure, heart disease, stroke, and uh, amputation can be avoided. Another important thing is to take care of your teeth and eyes, get your regular eyes checked up. And feet exam is really important. Diabetes, people with diabetes tend to um, lose sensation on the feet. So from the beginning, if, you're, if you keep your sugars under check, there's much less chance of damaging your nerves, your feet will be healthy. But we strongly recommend you to wash your feet, keep them healthy. So it is a myth that diabetes people People with diabetes cannot live a happy, healthy life. If they follow these tips, they can do everything they want. They can be doctors, engineers, pilots. There are Olympians who, are, who have diabetes. So it is a myth that you cannot lead your life properly. So you spell the myth and do the right thing. And also it is a myth that diabetes, people with diabetes cannot drive. If you have vision problem, if you have repeated low sugar leading to loss of consciousness, then you have to avoid driving. But for all the people, you can drive. If you keep your blood sugars in the normal range without severe high sugars and without low sugars, you can easily drive according to your uh, doctor's advice. And um, another myth is that you can cure diabetes. Yes, you can uh, delay the onset of diabetes if you have family with if you have somebody in the family with diabetes, if you do regular checkup, if you keep your weight in check, if you eat healthy, you can delay the onset of diabetes. Robust studies have shown that the best medicine to delay diabetes is proper diet and exercise. So that is really good news. So the most important thing is to push the diabetes away as many years as we can. But if we have diabetes, we shouldn't lose heart. As I said, if we follow those tips of uh, being peaceful, um, not worrying too much, exercising, eating healthy, taking our pills, and doing the regular checkup, we can live a happy, healthy life. This is the message I want to send to as many people as possible. My take-home message to you is don't be afraid of diabetes. Be positive. Do the right thing. If you keep on trying with your medical professional's help, you will live a happy, healthy life. Thank you.